coming up on the Making Waves BO podcast. Now, it pisses me off uh, that I, I'm even doing that comparison. And yeah. I need to go, Kev, do your own thing. You're good at what you do. Keep grinding. Keep moving the needle forward. Making waves. 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 This is the Making Waves VO Podcast with Kevin Kilpatrick and Bobby Maxwell. On this episode of the Making Waves V, I don't know what I'm doing. On this episode of the Making Ways VO podcast, we have a very compelling conversation that Bobby and I are going to have. Um, we're going to talk about some things that could be uncomfortable, um, that may make things a little bit awkward, but we want to bring them up. The Making Ways VO podcast is presented by Full Compass, fullcompass.com. We know VO. Bobby, how are you today? I'm doing good. Back from vacation and, you know, feeling good and didn't work that much but but enough that you know I'm like I'm ready to get I'm ready to get back into it it's, it's yeah. gonna be a, a big month how about you it's funny it's it's you're just getting back from some vacation I'm getting ready to go on some vacation <laughs> and yeah, you, uh, are. you know you deal with that work and you deal with the the anxieties of having to work while you travel and there are uh, many other anxieties that go on with the voiceover world and we're talking about you know self-doubt. Uh, not believing in yourself, wondering, am I really supposed to be doing this? Right, Bobby? Yeah. Um, I, I, while I was on vacation, I was reading an email that came from Sovas, and I'm sure a lot of our listeners also saw it, but it just it just struck me. It's it, This is so huge in a lot of voiceovers' internal feelings. Um, and it's basically about comparing ourselves to others in the industry. Um, do you mind if I just read it? Because Go for I, it. Yeah. Um, again, this is from Sovas. As children, we thrive in the simple joy of excelling, whether in sports, academics, or leadership. We bask in the thrill of mastering something free from the burden of comparison, but inevitably, someone comes along who outshines us. Their prowess eclipse our own, and suddenly the lightness of our achievement dims. What arises is a sense of inadequacy fueled by the impulse to compare. And that's exactly what it is. You may be having, you know, the best six months, all of a sudden your business just takes a dive or there's a lull or whatever, and you hear or you see, especially on social media, people, you know, telling what they've been working at, a, a, a dream job that they got, and all of a sudden it's a comparison thing. Yeah. And, and we're going to unpack some things, uh, including in our own lives. Like I'm, I'm going back and, and, and Bobby, for me, I, I don't think I have, I don't have any kind of imposter syndrome or anything, but I do have that comparison thing where I go, this guy has gotten this, this guy has this credit, this guy has done this and this guy has done that. And then I, for me, I, I don't think I am questioning whether or not I belong in this industry, but sometimes I question myself on whether or not I can attain similar things. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know, I, I, you know, to this minute, I think it's natural to do that kind of comparison stuff. But then for me, I kind of snap out of it and it pisses me off. Now, it pisses me off uh, that I, I'm even doing that comparison and yeah. I need to go, Kev, do your own thing. You're good at what you do. Keep grinding, keep moving the needle forward. You know, and, and that's so true. That's what you need to do. And, and you have, we have had this conversation many a time off mic about, but look at where we're at. You know, it, not everybody can do this full time. And you've got to, you've just got to take a step back and, and think, what are you doing? Whether then, why am I not doing that? Or no, why, why did they get that gig, and why why have I not reached that level in my career? It's what have you achieved, and what can you be proud of to that point? Yeah, and, and to keep building on top of that. Yeah, right? exactly. This is the Making Waves VO podcast with Kevin Kilpatrick and Bobby Maxwell. I'm Chris McCloy, and they didn't pay me a dime to say this. Why am I doing this for free? Hang on a sec. Talk to my agent.
And there are those, um, we have friends in the industry that, you know, go through these similar things, the same that we do. And then there are those in the industry that I feel like, and Bobby and I have talked about this, that we both kind of feel that they have maybe, I don't know if it's imposter syndrome, but they definitely have that comparison syndrome thing going on and they feel the need to lash out and Aww. get get the attention that way. Um, and they are getting a lot of attention. Um, and we're talking about Sabrina Pharaohs. And we've had people in our industry that have said, no, oh, just don't even give Sabrina the light of day anymore. But, you know, we kind of look at it and it's like, it's a little sad, right? Yeah, it, it really is. And, and, and we weren't going to talk about Sabrina, but then when I saw this from Sovas, it's like, yes, this is exactly what that person is doing. And we're not going to mention any names who we think Sabrina Farrows is. I mean, we may not be right. But this person continues to attack very successful people in the industry. Um, I mean, really successful, like demo producers and casting people and agents and managers and it, i think it's just an it, it's all come it comes down to they're just envious because they haven't reached what some of these people have yeah it, it, it let me tell you how disparaging sabrina gets and if if you don't know who sabrina Farrows is it's it's fine uh you're probably best but sabrina has been in bobby and i's lives our lives for uh what three years now yeah, I mean, you got the email. Has it been that long? Several yeah, I think ago? it was. Yeah, it's like uh, two and a half or three years ago, uh, whenever it was. It was in March. Uh, I remember that because it was right around St. Patrick's Day. But I got an email at like two or three in the morning, and Sabrina was trashing uh, a very prominent manager in our industry and saying some very, uh, well, anti Semitic stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, very much so, and, and trashing. Now, most recently, Bobby got an email from Sabrina, and basically, Sabrina called you and I uh, talentless, right? Yeah, they they kind of they changed it around several years later and built up this manager, and then said you left this management company because you you and Kevin didn't book. Whose fault was that? You and him. You and he don't have the talent. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what happened? Wait, wait. I don't understand why it, why it flipped. Um, yeah. And, and, and a demo producer was also um, received an email from Sabrina. And again, I don't, I don't want to name any names who, who they are attacking, but this person is so professional and so talented. And Sabrina chose to attack them personally not about their their work you know ethics or whatever it was it was a very very personal low low blow and it's just why why i don't get it yeah and and the the funny thing is is the person who we think it could be is somebody that's kind of been established in the uh, voiceover world but we still think they must be suffering from some imposter syndrome or some comparison syndrome and as voice actors, you know, obviously we don't need to worry about that. I think we need to worry about ourselves and focusing on self-improvement. Absolutely. Um, going back to the, the Sovas uh, article that was put out, they said, you know, when you feel that need to compare, we come to a crossroads. And going with a comparison route can lead to resentment or it can become a catalyst for growth. And they both have a lot of psychological issues. So we have to focus from, from external validation to inner fulfillment. That was their words. And I thought that was, uh, they hit you know the nail on the head here. The purpose isn't to outdo others, but to become our best selves. I love that. And, and you, you talked about, you know, there's two ways that this can go. You can either kind of wallow in that self-pity or that, you know, comparison and, and the imposter syndrome, or you can take that as motivation and then create your own path. 
just like that article Bobby is talking about. And I know somebody, and I'm not going to mention his name, but I know a voice actor who's very successful. And he said, he said it on our podcast, actually, um, the quickest way to success, if, if you, you know, if you're looking for a shortcut route and this brings in the comparison thing, right? You uh-huh. compare yourself to where this person is that you want to model yourself after. So if you've got an idol, somebody that you've idolized or somebody right. that you've looked at and admired and respected and saw what they did in their career, you can do the comparison thing, but then use that as motivation and say, hey, what did they do? I'm going to compare myself to where they are right now and what they've done. And then instead of wallowing in that and trashing them, I'm going to use that as motivation for myself. Absolutely. Yeah. And I don't think Sabrina is doing this at all no you know it's 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 just i mean they they came they came back at me after i replied and said all i said was you know maybe you need to get some help for this Mm -hmm. basically what we're just talking about maybe you need to look at the whole picture and why you're doing this rather than continuing doing it and i called them by the person that i think that they are and they responded by saying this is not blank and then (laughs) <laughs> described that person in a very uh, what would you call it Kevin it was uh oh uh yeah a shi- self- shining a light so self- yeah yeah so they they pumped themselves up you know it's like so that right there told me that we are correct in who we think this is because yeah, you, be- you wouldn't just take a random person and say they're a legend you know? right because the mo of sabrina has always been to trash 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 and right. anybody that you throw a name out there sabrina is going to trash that person but this person when bobby addressed this person uh with whom she thought it was they replied oh you mean blank the uh highly acclaimed voice actor um blah 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 and i'm like okay where's the trashing okay yeah yeah you you basically just kind of told us that yeah bobby was correct in doing that and you know we might get another email from sabrina who knows um i i feel like sabrina maybe listens to the podcast and uh chooses some of her ammunition based on our podcast which is sad yeah don't go anywhere the making waves video podcast returns in a moment Surf's up. It's the Making Waves VO podcast with Kevin Kilpatrick and Bobby Maxwell. This is voice actor and studio owner Christy Bowen, and they appreciate you listening. Bobby, so you know I have been, we've been talking about a lot on podcasts lately about the quality of our audio and what can be a death knell for a voice actor if they have audio quality that is not up to snuff, up to par, as good as everybody else. Oh my gosh, what do we do, Bobby, if we're not sure about our audio quality? Well, you go to the experts, of course. And I'm talking about the the folks at fullcompass.com. Not only do they know the equipment, but they know the business, and they've been doing this for decades and decades. So when you go on social media and say, okay, who has this microphone or what do you think? Why not just call fullcompass.com and say, tell me about this microphone or how can I improve my sound if it's doing this? I'm telling you, they know their stuff. They do know their stuff. Like let's say you're in your booth and you're getting some echoes or a little bit too much reflection. Talk to the folks at Full Compass because they can say, hey, let's do a little test. Let's hear how our things are sounding. And they may go, oh, you need some new bass traps or Ooh, you need some foam or, hey, maybe you'd be interested in this new microphone. P.S. Bobby, yeah? at Full Compass right now, they are having a fall clearance sale. <laughs> there you go. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Up to 88% off. Up to 88% off right now at Full Compass. And now I'm not talking about just, you know, rando stuff. I'm talking about they've got Neumann microphones on sale. They've got Focusrite interfaces on sale. They've got Sure interfaces on sale. Everything a voice actor needs, chances are you're going to find it on sale right now at Full Compass. 
FullCompass.com. They also do packages that they put together where you can get even more savings. So go check them out, FullCompass.com. Click on the banner that says Fall Clearance Sale, and then you can sort the pages. You can display it however you want to, but make sure you check it out. Make sure your sound is up to snuff, up to par, up to being as good as everybody else. Like Bobby said, go to Full Compass, fullcompass.com. We know P.O. Making Waves returns. The um, the article from Sovas, and I keep referring to this because they just, they hit it perfectly. Um, as self-help author Brene Brown teaches, you either walk inside your story and own it, or you stand outside your story and hustle for your worthiness. Mm. And the only person to surpass is who we were yesterday, not this person who is at this level. Um, yeah, it's 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 too much comparing. And I'm guilty of it, Kev. I've called you before on this and said, you know, I just don't understand why I'm not booking this or why I'm not getting this work from an agent or why blah, blah, blah. And and I'm doing exactly what we're talking about here. So I And how did we how did we get over that? How did we overcome that little stumble in our head? Um I, once again, I think just looking at what we have accomplished, you know, and where we're at for we you know, we've not been doing this a long time. Um so where we've come from day 1 to current day, just the work that we've done um, the connections we've made, the, you know, acknowledgments we've received, and just look at that to say, you know what, you can do this and you can do it better too. Um, that's, that's my thing, my yeah. how I think. And, and when we look at ourselves and like, okay, so anybody, it doesn't matter where you are on your career path. Let's say I'm, I'm going to go back to when I first started this in 2004 and I had, you know, some automotive clients coming in. And then I had some telephony work that I was doing and nothing else was guaranteed for me. And even that was not guaranteed, but it, you know, I kind of had that going as regular income. But then I started, you know, branching out just a little bit, but I still had self-doubt. I still, Bobby, did not have any kind of pulse or finger on the other genres that were out there. And mm -hmm. my goodness, is this career path filled with genres that we can work in? My oh, goodness, yeah. they are everywhere. And so it takes you to go look at, okay, so when you start having that self-doubt or imposter syndrome, just take a look at the outside and think of how people view you. And that's exactly the conversation I had with Bobby because I know so many people because I get hit up a fair amount of people that want to do automotive work. And it is an enviable place to be is to be someone as an established voice in automotive work. And that's what I reminded Bobby. There's so many people that are envious of what you do. Uh, they want that regular income. They want that monthly income because I've heard stories of people, Bobby, that do not have recurring clients and every single month they start over. And that would just drive me nuts. I could oh, yeah. take that. Um, Absolutely. So it, it, I guess it's a matter of, you know, counting our own blessings. And those that are even just getting into voiceover go... Okay, what have I booked? Okay, well, I did a corporate explainer for somebody. Not everybody's done a corporate explainer. Oh, I also booked an e-learning. Not everybody's booked an e-learning. So just take your successes that you have, put them in that little basket that you have, and just count up the things in your basket. And don't worry about everybody else. And it, if you could put more energy into how you can improve yourself and get to where you hope to be, rather than bashing someone or saying, how did they get an agent? Or, you know, why did they get this job? It, it's just, it, think about what you could do if, I mean, we, we've we been talking to um, some other people in the industry here this past week who all say, just give it 100%, you know? Put everything else aside and play to your strengths and you may be surprised at what you can achieve by doing that rather than se second guessing yourself or going, oh, I don't know. I don't I don't get this script at all, you know, but just make it you what makes you unique. 
And then you may book this big gig, this national thing, and say, I can do this. And that will give you even more um, confidence. And you can take it to the next level rather than looking at the rest of the picture. Yeah, this is a very important interruption to your stream of consciousness, Bobby. Bobby, do you know how to catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on him. hey <laughs> Do you know how to catch a domestic rabbit? I don't. Tame way. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard this going to happen uh, that, have you? Uh, I need to file that one away in my dad joke vault. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it, but it's true, and it's true um, what Bobby's saying. You know, we got to be our best selves, and we've got to just focus on ourselves. And it, and it kind of takes me back to Sabrina. And it just, if Sabrina, if you are listening, A, if it's you, I, I, we met at VO Atlanta. We did. And I got a good impression of that person that I met. At VO Atlanta, I thought mm-hmm. this person is a nice person. They're talented. Um, and then when it came down to we think we finally figured this out and we have a compelling amount of uh, evidence, I guess, um, it, it just makes me go, why? Why, Sabrina? Why the, why the need to feel like you need to lash out and try to hurt people? And I'll, I'll tell you, you're not hurting anybody but yourself. Um, yeah. Because we're not. I don't care. You can trash me all day long. I don't care. Um, I, I just, why? That's my question to Sabrina. Why do you feel the need to do that? This is such a loving community and people would embrace you for whatever your personality is. I just, I want to know why. Well, this same person, I think it was the exact same voiceover Atlanta where we met them. Mm-hmm. Um, a friend of ours won the unicorn. And afterwards, this person went up to them, the unicorn winner, and said, how did you get that? You know, what, did, did, did you ask someone to nominate you or did you nominate yourself? And it's like, and they said, they literally said, I want to win the unicorn. And it's like, mm. wow, wow, really? I, I did not understand that at all. So that was just, that was kind of like a precursor to what's going on now, yeah. you know? And that's kind of the opposite of how those awards handed out. You know, you're not a unicorn by saying, I want the unicorn award. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of how it goes. Um, and, and, you know, uh, I don't know, Bobby. We, we need to be confident in ourselves. We need to, you know, take these steps. If we are considering the imposter syndrome or the, you know, the comparison, doing the comparison thing. Just think about what makes you you and how good you are and and just add up the things that you've done in this business and know that that's good enough, but also know that you just got to keep grinding and moving forward. Yeah. And if if you do, if you are the envious type naturally, stay off of social media. I mean, I think think that's a big part of it because you see so many successful people – posting what they've they've done or they've earned or who they signed with and if if it bothers you that much just you know delete the app (laughs) just just stay away and concentrate on yourself yeah bobby i want to ask you this and this is this is personal you don't have to answer it or anything have you along the way of your career have you compared yourself to any one person and and either been like hey I'm inspired by them and I want to kind of go along the same path. Or maybe, uh, if we're being honest, maybe you're a little bit envious of them. Has that happened? Absolutely. Can you, Absolutely. You, do you feel like sharing a name or anything? No. Because I'd be curious. No. Okay. Will I don't want to. I don't, don't want to. Um, sure. Sure. Okay. And, and right. it, it, it got to the point where I was just like, I was kind of, you know, not obsessed with it, but it was really it was bothering me because I was doing a comparison Mm. and um, I just kind of did take a step back and thought, why are you giving this much energy to this, to this envy? And Mm. I, I honestly did step back from social media and that's why I just brought it up. Um, Because 
as we all know, everybody's lives are perfect on on Facebook, you know, yeah. for the most part. So um, I, I did I did step back and and just kind of reassessed everything, you know, where oh. I was, what I wanted to do, um, you know. I, I'm never going to be this person that I love with, you know, how I, I'm very, I'm just, I'm, I'm jealous of what they've achieved in the little time that they have. And I just, I can't do that. How about you? Oh. I, I'm curious. Okay. Now I've got my own satisfaction because I am 99.9% .9 sure I know who you're talking about now. <laughs> I'm not going to say <laughs> oh it though. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to say it. Um, but I, but I am fairly certain I'm, I'm trying to think Yeah, Sometimes it bugs me when I, and I, it, it shouldn't, but sometimes it bugs me when I see those that have only been doing this a couple of years posting that, Oh, I just got this CBS promo gig or, or whatever, something like that. I'm like, dang it. Um, but, but that's okay. I, yeah, I step back and go, Kev, you know, you you're, you're having a good run. You're having a good run, and I, I don't need to be that way. But there are times, there was a, I don't know, it was just a few weeks ago, and I was I was a little bit down on myself. I'm like, mm -hmm. I haven't booked anything in a minute, um, and I don't know if this training that I'm doing is taking, am I wasting my time? And I'm like, no, snap out of it, dude, snap out of it. You know, you're very lucky to be doing what you're doing to earn a living reading shit and that's what i tell like i met some new people yeah. the other day and they were like cool voiceover like what is that like what 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 is that i'm like i read shit and you know that's what i said <laughs> and they're like oh cool you read shit i'm like yep that's pretty much it i, I read yeah. shit i send files and then people send you know checks that help keep my house payment made and these kinds of things but you know i was going through a little down and i'm like Get, snap out of this you're doing fine you're you read shit for a living get over it. Um, you're doing great. There's a lot of people that would love to be doing what you're doing. And that's kind of how I snap myself out of it, you know, but it does happen. I, I, but that's me too. Part of that is to me, for me, and this may be different from, for some, but I feel like it's the same for a lot too. When I'm down on myself or I'm hard on myself, I, I've been told a lot in my life, Kevin, you're too hard on yourself. But to me, it helps because it tells me that, hey, that's not good enough for your standards. Try to make it a little bit better. And so mm -hmm. I've done that my whole life. And I think I got that from my dad because it was like, you know, mowing the yard when I'm eight or nine years old. And he's like, son, you did a good job. You mowed the yard. But, you know, you, you didn't get these weeds over here. You know, it could be a little bit better. And it was that whole mentality growing up. You know, it could be a little bit better, you know. And so I've always had that that vibe about me. But, yeah. It's uh, we got to snap ourselves out of it and, you know, reflect on here's what I've done. Let's add up what I have done and just count that. You don't want to miss what's next. Making Waves returns momentarily. Hello, everybody. This is Dave Walsh of The True Tell, and you're listening to the Making Waves VO podcast with my friends Kevin Kilpatrick and Bobby Maxwell. As a voice actor, you want to focus on what's important, right? Like pulling off the perfect read. You don't want to stress about tech stuff. That's why Full Compass is in your corner. With 50 years experience in pro audio, Full Compass has everything we voice actors need. Mics, headphones, monitors, mixers, interfaces, DAWs, all the goodies. And their certified product experts help with everything they sell. Plus, you can get free same day shipping, flexible financing, oh, and a low price guarantee. See it all at fullcompass.com. Fullcompass.com. They know VO. And now, back to making waves. You know, you just you just brought something up that I think probably applies to a lot of us and how we were raised. Um, that stuff's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. Um, and, and the reason I say that is I was one of nine kids. I was right in the middle. Um, so there was the oldest, and then there were the babies, the twins, who got all the attention. And my life from, you know, 16 on up, where I was still at home, was, you know, how can I stand out? Why, mm -hmm. why am I not getting that attention? Um, and, and I'm sure a lot of people go through life with that. It's like, why, 
why have I not re- why have not I not achieved what another person can? And it's just what we said. It's you have to look inside yourself, not the situation around you. Yeah. Bobby, maybe when you're doing your scene setting and you're getting ready for a new audition that you want to nail, maybe you need to put yourself in your family and you're like, I'm in the middle of all these nine kids. I need to stand out. What makes me unique? Maybe that will be your scene set. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. You never know. You never, ever know. How can we put a bow on this, Bobby? You know, I was just thinking about that. Um, I think you can take your strengths and go in that direction. And just as an example, um, when I was feeling the way that we were just talking about a few minutes ago, um, I, I looked this past year, what are you, in your mind, really good at? No questions asked. And one of them was political. Mm-hmm. I know I can do it. I know I get I booked. So it's like, well, go with that, you know, uh, make it even better because you know that you're already building. So keep it going. And that's when I decided with Christy Bowen to start doing the webinars. That's when we presented at VO Atlanta. Um, we just had some workouts um, a month or so ago. And it felt good because I felt confident in what I was doing. And all of a sudden I went, you know what? you can do this. And I think everybody can find something in their voiceover business or their ability to concentrate on that and build themselves up. I love it. And to Sabrina, how about kindness? Seriously, just what's wrong with that? You know? Yeah, we'll see. Exactly. We'll see. But Sabrina, we're not... We're not giving up on you uh, to turn this around. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm not being facetious. I, w- I, I would know. love to see the, oh, what, what is it? You know, the, the rise of the phoenix or the turning around or the uh, redemption. I would yeah, love to yeah. see this redemption and just like a note that says, hey, sorry, you know. But I don't know. I don't know. But Sabrina, this is a loving community. And we have a lot of love to give in this community. Stop with the hate. Jeez. Yeah, exactly. That's what it comes down to. The Making Waves VO podcast is presented by Full Compass, fullcompass.com. We know VO, and I mean it. We know it. See you on the next one, Bobby. Bye. The Making Waves VO podcast is produced by K2 Media Productions with hosts Kevin Gilpatrick and Bobby Maxwell. Sound design and editing by Jason Traver. Production assistance by Lacey Deline. Publicity and social media by Shannon Scott and Silas Phillips. Be sure to subscribe to the Making Waves VO podcast on your favorite platform. For all episodes, merchandise, gear, and more, visit makingwavesvo.com. Until next time, I'm AJ McKay. Keep making waves.